Usually, most of my machines and other projects need some sort of control panel with buttons, switches, lights, and other readouts. It makes sense to label these so I don't forget what each button does. I don't always spend a lot of effort on this. Or any effort. But if I want to make a professional looking job of it, that's also hard wearing and will never rub or scratch off, then I use a method called electro etching. This method is used on many commercial machine tools and can produce deeply etched plaques and badges that look identical to acid etching, but without the acid. It can also make fine markings on things like knife blades. Electro etching is basically the reverse process to electroplating. With electroplating, the workpiece and a piece of the same metal you want to plate it with are placed in an electrolyte solution. The workpiece is connected to the cathode and as current flows, metal is deposited on it from the anode. To reverse the process, all we need to do is swap the electrodes. Now, metal will be removed from the workpiece. To control where the metal is removed, a mask needs to be made to cover the areas we don't want etched. To make the mask, I'm using a vinyl cutter to cut it out of self-adhesive vinyl film. There are also other ways to do this. You can use the laser printer and toner transfer method, as is often used for etching printed circuit boards. Though I haven't tried this method myself, I think it will probably work better for fine detail that the vinyl cutter can't reproduce. This is a panel I'm going to etch. I first machine all the openings in it so I can align the mask to them. Whichever method is used to make the mask, it's important to mask off all areas which don't want etching, including the back of the panel and any exposed edges not forgetting to first attach the electrical connection. Now at this point some of you are probably thinking Why didn't I just engrave the text with the same CNC machine I used to cut the holes? In this case that would have been a good option. The text is quite large and simple, and there's not much of it. But there are many reasons why you might not want to use a CNC machine. Like, if you don't have one. Though etching can often produce better results. Even with the smallest, most fragile end mill, there's a limit to how small you can rotary engrave. It can be slow, and the results can be inconsistent. For example, as the depth of cut is quite shallow, if the panel is not completely flat, this will show up in the engraving. This was a plastic panel, so I couldn't etch it. For the electrolyte solution, I'm using tap water with a large spoonful of ordinary table salt. Unlike electroplating, the electrolyte does not need to contain the same metal as the workpiece. It just needs to make the water conductive. The panel I'm etching here is aluminium, but this also works on brass, mild steel, and even stainless steel, though the rate of etching is much slower. This is the cathode. 
connected to the negative terminal of the power supply. It should be an even distance from the areas that will be etched. If it's closer to some, then those areas will be etched faster than others. Again, the cathode does not have to be the same metal as the workpiece. This is a piece of stainless steel. The holes help see what's going on, but aren't essential. For a power supply, I'm using an old PC supply. I'm using the 5 volt rail. You can also use 12 volts, but more voltage doesn't really help. It just makes the solution heat up faster. It goes without saying, but this should be done in a well-ventilated area, as vapours and explosive gases can be released. I let this run for about 10 minutes at 300 milliamps, which is a bit longer than I would normally leave it, but I wanted to etch it nice and deep so it shows up clearly on the video. You might want to experiment on a test piece to see how long is needed. For better contrast, I'm going to spray the etched areas black before removing the mask. Because I etched it longer than normal, it's actually a little bit too deep and has undercut the mask, making the letters appear bolder than they should be. But it's not really a problem, as it's still clearly legible and there's no risk of the symbols ever wearing off. This is actually the control panel for my rotocasting machine. And you can watch that video on my channel too.